Good morning and Happy New Year. This will be my first uh, felting tutorial since before Christmas. And today I will be felting a little bumblebee. I'm uh, breaking in a new pad here. Uh, these, I think, are the best pads I have ever used. This is the, the label for them. Um, I bought three. The last one I used, I used for a year and a half. So they are really, really durable. So uh, they're of German make. I can't remember where I bought them, but really, really good uh, foam pad. Uh, we're gonna start with some of this yellow wool to make the body. Going to roll and then roll again. You want a kind of tubular shape on this one. And I am starting with my 38 triangle. Needles I'll be using are 36, 38, and 40 triangle. Switching to the 36, just to bring it together quicker. Just fluff it a little and then just pull, tuck it over and then get it into place to give you a nice seamless finish. Other end, same process. Felt it in a little, and then start dragging in the edge like that, and then just fold it over. I'm gonna switch back to the 38 now and just continue felting until it's down to the firmness that I'm happy with. He's, <clears throat> it's not the firmness, firmness that I want. Um, don't worry, he's a little lumpy and stuff like that, but we will fix that after with the 40 gauge uh, once we've added the stripes. So I think we're just gonna go straight along and add the stripes to this guy. And for that, we're going to use black. Brown works too, if you wanna change it up a little. So I'm just gonna grab Start with a smaller piece, and we're just going to stretch it, okay? I want this part here to be where the face is going to be, so we're going to add two stripes. One here at about... two thirds of the way. Okay. So for that, we're just gonna take the one end and we're gonna tack it down. In the end. And then we're just going to drag and stretch it. So tack the other end so that it's in place like so. Okay. And now we're gonna clean up these lines by dragging the fibers and felting them down. Give you a nice clean line. Yeah. 
I'll do the same on the top. There we go, okay? And now we just have to felt it down. Still looking a little rough, but don't worry about that. It'll all work out later. We're gonna do the second stripe before we start smoothing it. So same process, take a bit, of, a bit of black and then stretch. Try and keep the same so that it's symmetrical. So try and keep the same amount of distance in the center here. And I've got way too much here. So when I bring it around to the other end, I'm just going to pull off a bit so it's not too bulky. both stripes on. Now I'm going to use the 40 gauge triangle to smooth everything down so that it's all even and and adjust these lines here. And you see like here, it's a little lighter in color. You can see the yellow coming through. If you see that, you can just take a little bit of more black and just lay it over. Simple as that. This is a very forgiving um, art form. You can rip something off and fix it and add a little here to bulk up something or to add the color or, so it's, it's, a, it's a very organic process. Pretty satisfied with that. Um, so now we're gonna start on the wings. Okay, so for the wings, I'm gonna use some of this white wool. Um, two equal parts, or two equal amounts. So we're gonna go for like a half circle shape on these here. You can do them together so that you can try and keep the shape as similar as possible. I'm actually going to switch over to the 36 here just to bring it together. They're gonna sit like this on the back of the B. So just use the pad to get it to come together as much as possible. And then you can felt between your fingers later just to get a more even finish. Just be careful with that. I've been felting for many years and I've developed my own technique. I know how to to do it without stabbing my finger. So if just with caution, be careful. When I'm felting between my fingers like this, I'm using a, uh, 
a 40 gauge. Uh, it's a fine needle and I'm going with very shallow stabs in and out. I'm not even really taking the needle all the way out like this. So I'm not like stabbing like that. I'm just following and using my fingers as a guide. Um, back to this pad here. Um, the reason I like it so much is because usually when you're using a pad over a long period of time, it starts to break down a little and then you get little tiny pieces of the sponge get stuck into your work. Uh, that hasn't happened with, with these. I I'm, I was really, 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 really impressed that it, it uh, I never got any of that black up into my, into the wool and they're fairly easy to clean so that you can just pull up the fibers like that. So after a year and a half, some of the fibers had sunk so low that it was hard for me to get them up. But I, of all the, the sponge pads I've used, this is the one I've been most uh, satisfied with. So like, I'm, I'm not sure where I purchased it, but I'm gonna Google and see if I can find another one because uh, it's good to have one as a backup. I'm happy with the shape and you see they're still quite fuzzy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 40 gauge here and I'm just going to felt sideways in a way, like coming it at an angle so that all of these fibers that are sticking up will lay flat. what a big difference that makes. Okay, there we go. There's always gonna be a little bit of fuzz. Uh, you can snip it away with scissors if you want. I don't mind it so much. They just, they are made of wool. They're allowed to look like they're made of wool. So here are the wings, and now we're just going to apply them. I'm gonna see how I want his, that'll be his face like that. So we're gonna put one like this, and then the other one like this on the other side. Uh, if you'd like, you can use a needle as a, as a guide, just so you know what the center point is. So if I put it in like that, then I know that I can attach one on this side and then one right there, okay? Uh, and I want these to be elevated, so I'm gonna attach them on an angle like this. Just tack them in to begin with, so you know where you want them to, to lay. Like so. Okay. Uh, it's not totally, but it's enough that I can move around a little. And then we can take the other one and place it just like that. Remove that. See how they're attached? Okay. And now we're just going to, I think I'm going to use the 36 here, and then I'm just going to Get it more down into place. Okay. And then we always do the little tug test. And they are on there. Okay. There we go, wings on. Now we're gonna have to give him a little stinger on the back end, a little black wool. Not quite that much. I 
I'm gonna just do this one freehand. I'm not gonna make anything in advance. We're just going to try and make a, like a cone. So you make it circular around the base and then we're just going to taper it upwards so that it comes to a point in the end. Again, please watch your fingers. If you choose to do it the way I do it. I know I'm not always so good at letting you guys know what needle I'm using when I'm using it, but I'm using three needles here. So if I don't say it and you're uncertain, just test all of them and find out which one is working best for you. In the end, you'll figure out which, which ones work better for which jobs. Here's a little stinger. So now all we have left is the face. Um, I'm gonna give him like a little nose. You can use black, you can use brown. I'm actually going to use pink today. I thought that would be cute. So you just take a little piece of pink and kind of get it into a, a ball shape. And we're going to put that flat down in the center here. So you take all of the bottom edges and tuck them in. You get a nice shape and then you can felt it down afterwards. So you got all the edges down. Now I can felt the actual top. actually want this nose to be a little bit bigger. It's a little small for the size of the face. So I'm just gonna grab a little more pink here. Ooh. And I'm just gonna wrap it basically. But same process as when you're putting the black stripes on. Uh, tack it under on one end. Like so, and then just wrap it. on. We're going to give him two eyes and a mouth, and I think we're going to give him a little antenna out too. Uh, so just see how he progresses here. So eyes. I'm just going to two two little black dots for eyes. And I think I want them fairly close together, but we'll see. Okay, so two pieces of black, approximately the same size, and roll them between your fingers. Like so. And we're gonna take, I think we're gonna use this needle, the 38. That didn't work. 36. There we go. in and then we're gonna give him a nice little smile and with that we're gonna take this um, black and we're going to roll it between our fingers and stretch it out a little if it's too long just fold it in two and roll like so 
So we're gonna give him, I like crooked smile, so we're gonna give him a little crooked smile. I'm gonna start at the bottom down here. And then we're gonna drag this up further up this way. There we go. And I'm gonna give him two little antenna here. And again, we're gonna use the black. Okay, and we're going to take two pieces that are about the same size, like so. And we're going to roll and stretch again with our fingers. So one, and two, okay? And when we do these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tack right up here. We're gonna tack a little piece down here. Okay. And then we're gonna take it and we're going to roll it in our fingers. Twisting it and twisting it. And we're gonna twist it until it starts to fold on itself, that it's gonna buckle here. So if you take your finger, you can see, and you push it into it like that, it will roll down onto itself. And then we can just tuck the end in. And you get this little tiny, see? And do the same on the other side. When it starts to fold on itself, just give it a little help. Bring it up. And then tuck in the loose end. Right there. And there you got it, a little be with stinger and all. I thought we could give him some rosy cheeks, so I'm gonna take out my blush. And a little Q-tip. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at The Hobby Bird. I'll post the link in the description below and hit that bell icon and you get a notification when I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.